Leia the human will be here with me tonight. I'm just waiting for them to come on and um, we will be going live together working on our man blankets. I'm going to be overhead here and I um, uh, will also be with my DSLO, DSLR camera over on YouTube. It's a better view if you want to watch the crochet. If you're just here for the chat, chit chat, and um, you know, just want to hang with, with, um, oh my goodness, I love your lives. You're inspiring. You're inspiring. Um, uh, well, I I have this blanket pattern that I call the six day kid blanket, and I make it in all these different ways and different versions and one of the versions is called a man blanket and it's I call it a man blanket because it's large and I chose colors and now some people are going to be offended by this um, but I chose colors that I thought would appeal to a more masculine aesthetic um, that being said I'm making one for myself because I want a giant man blanket to cuddle up in and maybe I'll manifest a man. Who knows? <laughs> I'm not sure I want one, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> you know, I've been single for... Um, I mean, the divorce was finalized in 2018. That's only been four years, but like it was over long before that. So the separation was like three years. I don't know. It was traumatic. So I don't know if I want to go back there. Like, I feel really happy. I don't want anything or anyone or anything to mess with it. It's just eight o'clock now. I'm just, I want a man. <laughs> I want a man blanket. I want a man blanket. <laughs> that I can handle. That I can do. But yeah, it's like, it's extra big. It's the biggest of all the six day kid blankets. And it's got like, um, I, I chose the colors because my, this is what happened. I'll tell the whole story. So I'm waiting for, um, for Leia. Um, I was... I, I got divorced several years ago and I had to leave my house and go live somewhere. Well, I was just in a really bad place. I had no proof of income, nothing. And this guy gave, just gave me a lease based on like, you know, like, um, there she is. Let me see. Can I invite you? Why can't I invite you to go live? There you are. Um, yeah, and this 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 man um, gave me a lease and with my three dogs and fixed the house up really nice for me and just kind of treated me like family. And then when I went to leave, I actually broke my lease and the, and they were he was him and he his son owned the bar next door where we lived and um, they just were really sad to see us go really sad to see us go so when he left he asked for one of my blankets and so yeah I said what color furniture do you have and he said brown so that's why I chose the colors for the man blanket hey Alea how you doing tonight good how are you good people were asking me what the man blanket was so I was just yakking while I was uh, yeah. waiting for you to come on I'm feeling like my chair is a little too far back though that's what causes me to really like hurt my shoulders because I have to stretch too far. Yeah, you've been going hard these last two weeks though with the twenty-four hour. <laughs> well, I didn't. I, I didn't last twenty-four hours, and I didn't make the whole thing. But I feel pretty good. I felt good afterwards. Like I really took care of myself, and so I felt great. Um, 
I did it. I'm going to do it again on Wednesday. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wish I could do that. I can't do it. <laughs> you can't do a marathon? No. Well. No. Somebody's always going to be hungry. <laughs> Somebody's always going to need a diaper change. Yeah, you can't do stuff like that when you have little kids. You could do like a marathon, maybe like um, go around and play on all the different playgrounds in town. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do that with my kids when they were little. I would uh, I would just take them around. We knew where all the different playgrounds were and be like, which one are we going to go to today? And then we were always moving because my ex was in the military. So um, uh, we'd be like, okay, before we leave town, we have to hit them all. It was just like a thing that we did. So tell me about your man blanket. <laughs> say, oh, I'm sorry. Say again. I said, tell me about your man blanket. Oh, I, this week was just... I didn't get to work on it as much, but it's going. Oh, good. I feel like uh, maybe a quarter of the way there. Wow. A quarter done. Yeah, it looks good. Well, I didn't work on mine at all, so. <laughs> Not at all. Not one bit. So I got some catching up to do, I guess. So what are you going to be working on this Wednesday? Are you going to do another kid blanket? I'm going to try and finish that one up because I didn't finish it. I'm going to, oh. yeah, I didn't finish it. I'm disappointed in myself, but I don't know if you saw me at the end. I was like crocheting so slow. <laughs> That's how I knew I was done because I was crocheting really slow. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. If I, do. I mean, sometimes I'm just like, oh yeah, I want to crochet all day, cause my mom, my mom was like, um, she has surgery coming up next week. Oh wow! So she was like, I want to see my grandbaby. So she took him on Saturday, and so I was like, you know, this would be a great idea to, you know, crochet all day. Maybe one hour into, I'm like, mm, I want to go out to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I would only probably do it for like a TikTok, um, mm -hmm. uh, a TikTok thing because I did. I got like two hundred and fifty followers from that, from doing that. Okay, that's good. I yeah, I stayed on the entire day. I didn't turn it. I didn't turn off TikTok at all. So it was like, according to TikTok, I had been live for like eight hours or more. Wow. Um, yeah, a really long time. So I think TikTok likes that. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was good. I had like 20,000 people go through. So, That's good. Yeah, I think it's good for like exposure. If you are, if you want to like build your account a little bit or something like that, it would be something to try. Mm -hmm. I'm just wearing my Betty McBusiness hat. <laughs> <laughs> right then. <laughs> Um, that's, your, that's what you should uh, that's what you should call your master class Betty McBusiness <laughs> <laughs> look just know I came up with it. well you came up with it I gave you that well you know um, well you you met my sister right and that mm -hmm. in that um, she was she was kind of subdued in that meeting the info session when you met her but like we have a very similar sense of humor and also mm -hmm. she's my older sister so she teases me a lot but one of the things she teases well our i mean our last name was McKee so it's kind of hard mm -hmm. not to do the like mick everything but um yeah. yeah she definitely like teases me a lot by saying Betty Mick whatever you know like <laughs> and i i had to tell her the other day like you know, you say that a lot. <laughs> you're wearing you're wearing that out a little bit. <laughs> but Betty McBusiness. All right, I'm gonna go ahead to overhead. Let's get started crocheting. Okay. And I I just gotta tell you now you got me watching the trash TV, and um. <laughs> 
I signed up for, I don't know, the Discovery Plus channel. I'm on the free trial. I'm going to try and get through all 17 seasons of the um, the Sister Wives uh, oh, yeah. show before before my trial um my <laughs> free trial is up so i don't have to pay for that <laughs> yeah i mean that's that's normally what i do with shows like that I'm, or i'll borrow somebody else's login because <laughs> i just there's just too much we have hulu netflix hbo um what else do we have disney plus but oh. half of, so i have the netflix my husband has the Hulu account. My mom has the HBO and Disney Plus. So we all, you know, we all share it. <laughs> but still, like, I can't, we can't do no more. <laughs> we might as well just go back to cable at this point. I, I swear every day I have a charge on my account that's like Amazon, you know, Amazon payment. And I'm like, what? Do I, mm. what, how many things am I subscribed to? Like, I don't even remember yeah. how many. So some, someday I got to, I'm sure when I go back and see like, oh, you're subscribed to Paramount Plus, I'll be like, I need that. Every yeah. single one, I will think I need it. Um, but yeah, I made it up to season eight. I'm, I'm watching season eight now where they, she got. Um, she got the divorce so that they could try and uh, adopt the kids. That's how far mm -hmm. I got. And then, oh, I'm just going to hit this timer for 60 minutes because I did okay. find that that, like, really helped me um, remember to stop and stretch and all that. Mm -hmm. And I'm stopping at the end of every row, too, so. Um yeah, but I started all the way at season one and I'm like knowing the history where they're like, I don't, I don't really know exactly what's happened, but I think they're like splitting up or something now in yeah, real time. Yeah, right all, all, all the like wives are gone except for Robin, the newest wife. Oh no. So, That's... no, oh yes, because he is a, 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 a tyrant in their life it just it gets really bad towards the end so i don't blame them also well me. i'm noticing just as it goes along that he's becoming more and more like demanding and mm -hmm. you know when it all started it was all like well we just all really love each other and this is just like a big family and and um you know I'm like okay this is a really weird setup but you know they made it they made it all make sense in terms of you know how they all feel really um loving towards one another but i'm just noticing that he's like becoming more and more impatient and then he was saying like in this just a recent episode that i watched he was talking about pms and mm -hmm. you know like oh i don't know if this is called pms and it's like dude, how do you have four wives and you're just now learning about PMS and all these daughters, yeah. you know, like, and you don't know about PMS and you're like, you're speaking so insensitively about it. Like, no, <laughs> like we know you're a narcissist and a misogynist just by the nature of what you're doing. But that was just like, wow, you're really showing it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so what else are you uh, working on besides your man blanket? Um, so I have, I, I was making my friend a sweater. She's a, like a, a stylist for, like the local stylist in our area for like, you know, pretty much anybody, businesswomen, um, local artists who do like, music videos in our area because her husband does uh like studio work so she wanted to do a collab where um i make her a sweater and she styles it right oh wow um so i just haven't finished a sweater i ha i had the top done 
but it was like she wanted it to be a little bit longer so okay. i had to undo it and i just never found the motivation to, to finish it so now i'm actually like actively working on it and then i have i'm also um i just got picked to do a, t- a tunisian crochet testing call oh nice by another yeah by another creator but um she hasn't sent the pattern over and the pattern calls for like weight to yarn which i i don't <laughs> i should have really looked at what it looked like before i Whoa. <laughs> like, I'm like uh i don't do i don't normally buy two weight yarn so I had to dig deep into everything that I had, and I found some, so. Wow. Yeah, so that should be interesting. It's a really cute, like, tank top for the spring, so. Hopefully it's lacy and loosely crocheted and not, like, practically micro-crochet. That I wouldn't be able to do. Yeah. We'll see. I, I don't think it's, uh, well, since it's Tunisian crochet, it's pretty solid. Okay. Um, so, at least from what I saw, so I just, I just think it should be interesting. Okay, I feel like I'm, I think I did something wrong. I think my count is off. But, um, yeah, it's really cute, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do that, and then I, I didn't look at, like, the actual details. <laughs> And then I asked her, I was like, um, so what type of yarn is it made out of? And she's like, oh, it's a two-weight. I said, uh, 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 what? <laughs> but, you know, I'll take I'll take it on, though. It should be fun. That's cool. I don't think I've ever done a pattern test for anyone. Well, because you're the pattern maker. <laughs> well, that's true, but, I, you know, I feel like I feel like sometimes people like graduate to, you know, being the pattern designer or writer and they start out as a maker and um, then they test for other people um, and then they try designing and I just did everything backwards. <clears throat> I had to go in I and... I mean, you know, I, that's okay though. I had to fix a bunch of stuff with this pattern we're working on right here. Number one, the hook. Mm-hmm being the wrong size <laughs> <laughs> um, and then a couple other just the little typos um, and then I noticed it wasn't even on Ravelry I never had put it up on Ravelry so I did that today a man blanket? yeah I didn't put it on Ravelry what? I just put it on That's my so sometimes I just like throw things up there when they're done like I am messy I'm super messy <laughs> Sometimes I just do it messy and I'm like, I'll get around to the rest of it later and then I get distracted and I forget that I didn't do it. I need to make more lists. I'm really bad at making lists too. I don't like to sit down and make lists at all. (laughs) Well, I have tons of lists, but then sometimes I don't follow them. And then I just sit there and go, what was I supposed to be doing? What did I? I know I had a ton of stuff I needed to do today. Like I need to make a list of all the phone calls I need to make. You know, doctor's appointments and crap like that. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I don't like shopping list goes right over my head. Like especially grocery shopping because I, I used to. I used to do the whole grocery shopping list, but I don't know. It's something about like maybe i just don't like to like in the moment i'm like okay we need healthy food this that and the other and then when i actually get to like the actual stuff i like i'm just like nah <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm terrible about food and groceries i mean i eat the same three or four things all the time and i'll just be lazy and just not eat at all that's the biggest thing with me i'll just not eat mm. I was like that in college, like when, you know, studying all up all night and it's like, I just felt like I didn't have enough time. (laughs) Yeah. That's, and then when I am like, okay, I'm going to eat today. I'm like, this requires time. Yeah. I have to cook it. And there's like, you know, I live on the Outer Banks up in Corolla. So there's not a lot of like 
there's no like DoorDash out here. So I can't even DoorDash anything. There's not a lot of like chain restaurants or anything like that. Not up here. Maybe down in like um, Nags Head or um, Kitty Hawk. <clears throat> but not up here. So yeah, it's like if I want that, if I want something fast, like fast food, I have to drive like 30 or 40 minutes to go get it. Like that's just, that's just silly. So yeah, I don't do a lot of that anymore. Um, so whatever I, pretty much whatever I eat, I'll have to make myself and um I do like the other day on the live I did the ramen I like to spice up my ramen mm -hmm. with like an egg and spicy stuff and um and then I, I keep burgers stuff like that have you ever made like the soy marinated eggs no what is that like so it's it's really good um so you literally just like boil eggs uh -huh. and then you put it in a container with like soy sauce and then i put garlic and onion in it oh and then you just put the eggs in there and then you sit it for like a day or two and they come out so good huh. like so flavorful i only do one egg because i feel like it's a lot of flavor Mm -hmm. But my husband, he loves them, so he does like two or three, depending on how. Oh wow! But it's really good. It really is. So we went to this restaurant in um, around where where we stay. It is called Alkaline. It's like a Korean ramen place. Oh, okay. My it's so good. I did not want to leave the restaurant. It was so good. Like I had, I was like had the idea so bad. I was like, oh, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, um, growing up, and I think this might be a Western Pennsylvania thing, or uh, somebody said it was an Amish thing, but they, my aunts used to um, marinate the eggs in the beet, the beet juice with like red onions mm. and beets and then vinegar. And then you put the hard boiled, the peeled hard boiled egg in in that and it soaks up the beet juice and they are just amazing um need to make myself some of those i was talking about those to somebody else the other day but i've never done it with soy sauce somebody is asking have you ever used burnout blanket yarn for this blanket i have not i think it's been done in my group though if you want to check my facebook group and um the six day kid blanket facebook group i think it's been done in there i don't use those blanket yarns i just don't like them i think they're good for things like plushies and stuff that you're going to crochet really tight um single crochet uh stitches but i don't they don't work for me i have pretty loose tension and i i don't think they work up nice but that's just one person's opinion. What do you think, Alea, of blanket yarn? Um, I don't use it out to be. <laughs> um, I don't know. It for me is just how it feels in my hands after a while. Mm -hmm. And it kind of like I feel like it sucks all the moisture out of my hands. Like oh yes, yes, I've had that experience for sure. So I don't, I I don't use it. The only time I've used it is. My husband, when I first started crocheting, my husband wanted me to make a blanket, so he bought like 12 balls of it <laughs> so I can make him a big blanket. It was the worst experience of my life. I absolutely <laughs> hate it. <laughs> but I do have some so that I can make plushies for like my baby cousins and stuff yeah. like that. But I, I don't, I couldn't use it for a blanket. That's just too long of a commitment for me. I almost feel like it's like one of those newbie things, like people who haven't been crocheting that long come into the group and like oh have you ever used the blanket yarn and it's so soft or whatever and I just don't like that yarn I don't I don't ever use it yeah Burnett's big blanket and regular blanket yarn has definitely traumatized me <laughs> oh Connie who's asking the question is saying she doesn't like it either 
but they're trying to find something to use it for um, and may donate it. I would use it if you like making amigurumi or plushies. Um, it makes it, it it looks like it makes really nice plushies. That, yeah. That's another thing I don't enjoy making and I don't have anyone to give plushies to. And I have get, gotten rid of so many stuffed animal toys in my life that my kids, it just to me that that's just something I'm just not, I just don't have any interest in at all. I don't know who that's your notification or mine. Oh, uh, that was mine. My computer battery. Oh, okay. So I gotta charge it. Put it on the charger. Oops. But yeah, no, I, I'm not a big um, blanket yarn. I, 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 it's just not for me. <laughs> hey, Andrew, what about you? Oh, I see. Hey, Amanda. I don't think I said hi to Amanda. Or Debbie over on um, YouTube. I got Andrew on both places. How you doing, Andrew? Are you doing better after your... Uh, the other day you said you had had surgery. And um, I think were you trying to make a swatch and, and um, feeling a little loopy? You don't like blanket yarn either. Hi, Leanne. I only did one stripe on this last time. I guess I had to start it and do all the counting and stuff. You're crocheting a dress. Wow, I've never crocheted a dress. I guess that crochet fashion week is coming up. Yes. Oh my goodness, I, I really kind of wanted to go, but I was, it's all in Atlanta. I know, I really like Atlanta. I would love to have gone also. I meant to sign up to like volunteer or um, something, but I, um, I didn't. Yeah, I hope they do. Uh... Oh wait, it's happening. Is it happening this next month? I think it's the first weekend of February, like the second oh. through the fourth or something like that. And I don't know if they're having like a market and vendors or whatever. I just saw um, Gregory Stitch recently um, made a post that a lot of it's going to be virtual. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. So you can still... You can still um, watch it online or whatever. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think. I think he mentioned something about not having like vendors. It's strictly like fashion shows. Okay, that's cool. I don't know. I don't know anything about fashion. I have a, you know, a couple <laughs> of garments, but. I like I know nothing about fashion at all. Yeah, I think um I only know one other person who's going to be like uh being featured in the show and that's uh the skinny hooker. Yeah, Patty. Mm -hmm. I love her stuff. It's so cool. Yeah, she's like cool. she incorporates like denim and 
crochet and i just think that's so like that's so cool yeah i think i i like her aesthetic i think she really has a has a cool style but yeah she's the only one i know i mean i don't know her she's my tiktok mm -hmm. friend <laughs> She's my TikTok friend. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny how sometimes we watch people so much that we really do think that we know. <laughs> I know. I have like my little group of like my little group of people on TikTok, and it's like, um, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's the same like six or eight people. They always comment on my stuff. Their videos always come up for me. Um. Some people, I'm like, I really love uh, Say Less Studios. I just love like her whole aesthetic and the things that she crochets and the stuff that she puts together is like stuff I would never ever even think of. And mm -hmm. she's done my star blanket. And the other day I gave her um, my shawl pattern and she's like, ma she's making my shawl pattern, the star shawl. With this like really beautiful pink and orange um noro yarn it's just gorgeous oh yeah i saw that yeah I saw yeah that her video. i have like three of those yarns and couldn't decide what to do with them and then mine are a different color though mine are like gray and pink and mm -hmm. i got mine at webs so they were heavily discounted and um, so I got, I ended up with three of them. So I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with them. But that star shawl looks so pretty in that yarn. Yeah, it looks really good. Makes me wish I had it picked a really different good. color. Yeah, every time I go to the yarn store and see Nora, I'm just like, hmm, one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice yarn well I I got it at webs I think I told you all about webs the last time we mm -hmm. were on a call it's like it's that yarn is not something I probably would ever buy if I didn't find it there and mm -hmm. I, I I don't remember how much they cost when I bought them I want to say $13 Oh wow! Yeah, they're actually, like forty, sixty dollars in the yarn, like in a local yarn shop. Yeah, they yeah they weren't anywhere close to that. I think they I think they might have some on the website too, if you check. Um, but it would be like probably dis discontinued colors or, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if they would have the color that she is. Um, she's using but yeah all right i did a whole stripe next is the dark gray man blanket man blanket bring me a man <laughs> Speaking of buying yarn, so my I told my husband about the um, the Maryland wool and yarn show that you were talking, she, the sheep we were talking and, about last time. Sheep and wool festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sheep and wool festival. And um, he reminded me that we actually have family in Maryland that doesn't live that far. So I was like, oh, shoot, we about to stay with them. Oh, nice. Nice. I think that's a, well, uh, probably what we're going to do, but we're probably only going to be there for like one day, though. I don't think we're going to stay for the whole weekend. It'll be worth it. Um, I have some I have some suggestions for you, though, and that would be to arrive early, very early. Mm -hmm. If you're only going for one day, get there early. Have your walking shoes on you might get muddy have some you know big shopping bags that you can scrunch <laughs> up and hide in your purse in case you really um you know find yourself a nice haul uh 
And the other thing I usually do when I'm there is if I see something that I really, really like, I buy it right then. I don't wait and go back around until I see everything. Like if I just love it, um, I, I, I just buy it right then because there's like mm -hmm. so much to see if you go and see everything you're you might forget what you saw that you loved um it might not be there when you get back because they sell out mm -hmm. so that would be the only thing if you see something you're like i just have to have it just get it right then that's my that's how i approach it anyways i go prepared with money <laughs> yeah. I would say you know save up and set aside you know a hundred bucks to spend there at least you know I mean everybody has a different budget and what they can afford but definitely save up a little bit of extra something something mm -hmm. so when you get there you can um, you can splurge I was really surprised after crocheting all day the other day that I wasn't like I thought my arms and hands were gonna not be happy but it was really fine what's the longest you've ever crocheted in one stretch oh I would say probably eight hours when I used to work like from home Mm. Um, because uh, I literally like when I, cause when I first started working, like maybe a few months later, the pandemic happened. So then mm. we had to go home, but I was still new, so I didn't have any clients yet. So oh. I was literally just sitting at home, not doing any <laughs> anything. Um. So I just that was when I started crocheting and so I just really would crochet for eight hours waiting for an email to answer oh wow <laughs> um but yeah so I, I would do that all day and then eventually I would after work I would stop and then <laughs> do the rest of the stuff I had to do around the house and cook dinner and all the other stuff so wow so are you still working for them no after after I had my son, um, I my plan was to go back to work, but after I had my son, I knew, like I knew I could not. <laughs> I, I knew for a fact I was not going to be able to go back to work full time because I did not want to leave him with anybody else. Like I just I was just so in love with my baby, like I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't leave you know I couldn't leave him alone for more than like an hour to be completely honest you know yeah it's hard when you're first one yeah. yeah i just I, I remember it was probably like the uh, maybe like the third like the second or third day that i got home and my friend who was his godmother she had came over <laughs> And we were, and me and my husband and her, we were just sitting there watching a movie, and I had my son, and he was asleep, and so my husband was like, oh, let me take him. And so I gave him to my husband, and I was looking at him while my husband was holding him, I was like, give me back my baby. <laughs> 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 and I just started crying. <laughs> and I was like, Aww. I want my baby back. <laughs> Aww. And then that's what I just buzzed. I was like, I don't think I can go back to work. I can't go back to work. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I wasn't really able to. Um, well, I mean, I take that back. I did work. I taught dance in a dance studio. Mm -hmm. But I, like a lot of dance teachers, I just took my baby with me when I had mm -hmm. to. When my, um, but my husband was deployed a lot, so. It was, um, 
It, it was like being a single mom in a lot of ways. Mm. Yeah, that's really rough. You know, my mom, she was a single mom. And, um, you know, she she tried to hide how rough it was most of the time. But, you know, we could tell. So Yeah. Well, I mean, when I say I was a single mom, I I didn't have to worry about I didn't have to worry about money like my husband's job provided for us so mm -hmm. like you know that was one thing I didn't have to worry about if I wanted to work it was for extra money or you know just for my own you know because I wanted to work mm -hmm. um, you know we could we we could have done it just on his income um, Especially since they, like, provide a housing allowance and, you know, it was the military. Mm -hmm. we, we had a place to live, so I didn't have to worry about that. But, like, I didn't have any family around to help me. That was hard. Um, and it was, like, I just, I had to do everything myself. That was the single mother part. So, Betty, do you often go on vacation? Well, I um, I do like to travel. I haven't been on vacation in a while, but where I live is like a vacation spot. So yeah. <laughs> that's, um, <laughs> I moved here, so I feel like I'm on vacation all the time. Um, but... Let's see, the kinds of things I like to do are like to go to this kind of wool festival mm -hmm. um, and go to, you know, anywhere I go, I do some kind of yarn shopping adventure. I'll go to the local yarn store and I'll buy something there and, you know, look at everything they have and, and um, you know, meet people, meet pe the people there and just see what it's like. Um trying to think the last time I went on a vacation I guess I went to Nashville back in 2021 to pick up mm -hmm. my car um, I bought a car from Carvana and you know mm -hmm. they have those car vending machines yeah so my car was in Nashville in the car vending machine down there so rather than having them deliver the car to me I flew to Nashville and I um, got my car out of the car vending machine <laughs> which was actually kind of it was a little anticlimactic like putting the coin in and watching the car come down because it has like this conveyor that like brings the car up to you and that part was broken so it was really just like they had my car up in the car vending machine I put the thing in and then all the way on the other side of the lot my car like went down in this elevator like two stories but it didn't like come right up to me because that that part wasn't working so it was a little bit dumb but it was also just <laughs> like <laughs> it was also just like you know um an excuse to go to nashville and i don't know if you've ever been to nashville but it's like a big party town so just went there and stayed in a hotel and went around shopping for yarn and picked up my car and um had some nice food, listened to some music. It was a fun time. Yeah, that does sound fun. I, um, yeah, I've all, so did you hear that Carvana's going like, or went bankrupt? No. Yeah. They so did? what had happened, yeah, so either they're going bankrupt or they're going through a lawsuit, one of the two, because what happened was, and I'm glad this didn't happen to you. They were selling cars without titles to them. Wow. Yeah, so people would buy their car, and then when it came for, you know, to do your registration, um, they didn't have their title. So it was, they were like, it was really confusing. I don't even know how you can even acquire a car without a title, to be honest. Like, how did the whole business... I, 
have the title to a car, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know, but I would say the whole thing was really sketchy because, uh, first of all, they say, you know, a, a few things went wrong, but I love my car, so I'm just going to mm -hmm. say that, and I, I had a good experience with them, and then I also sold them my um my my old car when i got home mm -hmm. they came and picked it up i couldn't i couldn't even give that car away it was the worst car i've ever had in my life and i honestly could not even give it away to somebody um i tried um but yeah what so kind of was it? it was a ford focus It was a 2014 Ford Focus, and you know they had the transmission, the tra they had transmission problems, and something was recalled on it. And do you know how many times I had to go back and have that, yeah. have that fixed? And um, I was going through a divorce, and mm -hmm. it was in my husband's name. The um, the the loan for the car was in my husband's name. And I had to, I took response, I had took responsibility for the loan, but I wasn't able to put the loan in my own name without a mm -hmm. co-signer because my credit was shot mm -hmm. from the divorce. I had no, you know, I had to quit my job, I everything. I had already like stopped teaching because of my health issues. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't even get like a car loan for like however much that we owed on that car, which was like, I don't know, $12,000 or some ridiculously, it was just ridiculous. But anyways, mm -hmm. I couldn't, I couldn't sell the car because it wasn't in my name. Mm -hmm. So I had to keep fixing that car and fixing it and fixing it and fixing it. And it kept breaking and breaking and breaking and breaking. It was the worst car I've ever had. But, um, yeah, so finally, like, as soon as I paid it off, I was like, I'm getting my own car. Nobody's going to tell me nothing. I'm just going to get whatever I want. Yeah. And so I got the, um, I got the Outlander from Carvana, but, but they messed up my title. They did mess up my title. I had a title, but they messed it up. They didn't process it correctly. And, um, I mean, I think part of that was through the pandemic that mm -hmm. the DMV was so behind, like it just took months to get that title processed. And then finally it was processed and I got in the mail, like, uh, like a slip of paper, like a receipt with the, with the sticker, like stapled to it from Carvana in the mail. It was like so weird. There was no, like, nothing with it. It was, like, in, on, in a plain, plain brown envelope, you know, like, just this oh my thing from Carvana that just came in, and it was no explanation, no letter, just, like, here's your registration with, like, the receipt stapled to it. It was, it was so weird, um, but I, but I got it, and then I think people were, because I had that temporary tag on it for so long, um, in my neighborhood, actually, people were like stealing those and mm. um, using them to, um, you know, put on their cars illegally because they had, I lived in a really bad neighborhood because they, they didn't have driver's licenses, so they couldn't get mm. license plates. But several people asked me like, can I have your tag? Can I have your temporary tag? Where'd you get that from? You know? <laughs> <laughs> like that kind of thing. Where'd you get that? Can I have it? Like, no. But yeah, I didn't know any. How long has this been going on with Carvana? I don't know, but I just remember seeing it when, because I watch a lot of like documentaries on YouTube, mm -hmm. just to keep it up to date and have, uh, you know, general knowledge of things that's, things that's going on. And when I heard that, I was like, what? That's kind of, like, crazy. Like, I don't... Because they were really... Especially during the pandemic, they were really, like, popping. Like, it was very yeah. popular to buy a car and to sell your car. 
Yeah. And they, I just think that they couldn't keep up. Now, there was a rumor that a lot of the cars that they were acquiring because they needed to keep the demand of cars were stolen, but that was debunked. Um, oh, wow. Like, like, people were selling them stolen vehicles, but I think that was debunked. Um, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, the whole, I mean, the whole business model seems extremely fishy to begin with, but I love my car. I had a, yeah. <laughs> I had a really good experience buying and selling a car with them. And that, that car did not start that focus that I sold them. I was like, they were like, is it drivable? And I said, well, it has, you know, this issue it's, and he went out and he started it and he was like, it starts, it's in, it just, from what I can see, it's fine. It's in better shape than 99% of the cars that I pick up. So wow. you're good. And he just cut me a check and took my car, took it away. Wow. Yep. Well, that's good to know. Well, dang. Cause we have to sell my husband's truck. He has like a Honda uh it's like a truck it's not oh my gosh what is it called i don't know honda pilot okay that oh he said that's like one of the worst financial decisions he ever made because it was very much overpriced for what it was worth um and but he paid off really quickly and so he's had it for a while and now we had got our new car um and so he's looking to sell it, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if Carvana's going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> they will. They'll buy it. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. It's not in bad shape. It's just like the interior is kind of rough. But it, it still drives just like, it's just old. It's a you know, 2011. Oh, wow. Well, um, the car that I picked up from them, they, um, they said, supposedly they are never, your car from Carvana will never, you know, they'll never drop off a car that smells like cigarettes. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. The car smelled like cigarettes. It smelled like cigarettes. I was just mm. like crushed when I got in it, and I was like, "Come on, this car smells like an ashtray." And they were like, "Oh, we are, you know, we're not." First, he acted like it didn't that it was just the cleaning products, and I was like, "No, that is that is cigarette smell. Come on." And um, he said, "Okay, well, we're gonna cut you a check for two hundred and fifty dollars." And, um, all you have to do is just go have your car professionally, you know, we're going to give you the money to go have it professionally detailed and have a, have an ozone treatment done. And, um, you know, we're just going to, we're going to pay you to go have that done. So they gave me that, cut me a check and I just went and like, I did it right then. I went and just like sat in a, like a Walmart parking lot and just got all the, you know, the stuff and I did it myself. I just like blasted that ozone stuff into the car and, um, you know, ran the, ran the car for a while and with the, the windows open and all that. I just kind of mm -hmm. did it myself and I, I pretty much cleared it out on that first round of whatever I did and I just... I just kept doing it until it it doesn't smell like cigarettes anymore. I would ask people getting in, like, does my car smell like smoke to you? And be like, no, I can't smell it anymore myself. So that's good. Yeah. Because, you know, once that smell gets into your car, it's like really hard to uh, to get it out, if not impossible. My sister is saying, I don't know why I'm the only Facebook viewer. The video on Facebook is better than TikTok and YouTube. And she's, <laughs> and she signed it, McSister. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
What's wrong with the video on YouTube? And what's wrong with the video on TikTok? Is there something wrong with it? Because it looks fine to me. Maybe she's just saying, like, the viewpoint or the... I don't know, because usually she watches from TikTok and, um, and YouTube. And usually, like, I, okay, I'm just going to say this is going to sound mean, but I only have 14 people here right now, 15 people. Oh, nothing wrong. Okay, it's just better view. All right. <laughs> it just looks clearer and has your picture. Okay. Pat Jacobs says YouTube looks great. All right. Yeah, I think TikTok is good and fun for the engagement and um, the conversation, of course. Um, but I think if you want to watch the crochet, YouTube is better. Yeah. How's your YouTube channel going? I mean, it's going very good. Um, the... I'm, uh, like, I finally made or committed to a schedule. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm doing, like, Tuesdays and thir Thursdays. Okay. So, I do, like, a uh, Tunisian Crochet Tuesday. Oh, nice. And then on Thursday, I just do, like, any random video. So, that's been, so far, I've been keeping up for, like, what, two weeks now? Nice. So, that's been good and then the shorts as well but i think i need to post more shorts um but i i think i found like the niche that everybody likes it's like literally so low effort <laughs> it's literally just me crocheting not my face nothing just crocheting pov and some soft music and they just <laughs> eat it up <laughs> Um, I don't know what it is. People do seem to like to watch, you know, watch crochet. I, I don't know. I've done really well with it. Um, I mean, my YouTube channel is not the best. My daughter is going to help me clean it up a little bit because um, it could be way better. But... Um, yeah, it's uh, just the overhead crochet, I think, is what people want to see. Mm -hmm. um, are you going live or are you just uploads? You doing uploads? Yeah, I do live sometimes. I'm still trying to figure out like my camera situation. Oh yeah. For my lives, um, because like I. I just right now I'm just using a webcam, but my webcam on my last computer wasn't that good and now I'm just using the webcam on my husband's computer because it's better but like the frame rate isn't as good okay. so it, since we're doing a lot of movement it's not as crisp yeah. as you know I would like it to be so we're still working on you know what to do with that but other than that, I just film on my iPad for my videos, and I edit it from my iPad, and then I can just upload it to YouTube that way. Okay. Because I don't have the capabilities of going live on my mobile devices yet. Okay. Um, well, one thing I would suggest for your shorts is um, go through your go through your video analytics and see if there's like um, if there's a moment in the you know in the video that gets a lot of a lot more views or mm -hmm. you know seems to be the the peak you know the peak moment and then use you know take a little snippet out of that and use it as a short okay that's good that's good i mean i'm gonna actually do that i i heard that or read that somewhere i didn't come up with that on my own and i haven't tried it yet um, I'm, I'm really focused on like, really, how can I convert these live videos to like tutorials that people can actually follow? 
and don't have mm -hmm. to like dig through three hours of me yakking with my friends to figure out what the heck <laughs> they're doing with their you know how to how to do the the star blanket or the kid blanket and all these patterns have like people people make the same mistakes every time on them so it's like the you know the tricky spots and the tricky parts um and people also like to be able to like crochet along the whole thing with you they don't want you to just show them the tricky spots they want to do the whole mm -hmm. thing along with you so How's your... Did you see uh, the thumb the thumbnail I made for our lives? No. Oh, I'm gonna send it to you with my phone. I was like, this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my daughter is going to make thumbnails for me. I told her that is the first thing I need done is I need thumbnails and I need good titles uh, for all my videos. Some of them are just like, like literally it's just like the file name from, um, and I don't know if you do this or not, but I have, uh, I have software that I um, use to go live in multiple places at once. Mm -hmm. And it makes a recording. It records and it makes a file. I'm, when I'm done, it'll come up and say that, you know, the file has been saved to your computer. Um, and then I usually take that file and I just right away upload it to YouTube. Yeah. Even though it just, because if it's, if you, if you just leave the video in the lives, nobody can find it, I learned. Yeah, they have to go like to a certain like area on your channel yes and stuff like that. they have to go look for it so i noticed that when i also upload it that the uploads do better than the lives mm -hmm. so um the lives are good for watch hours though but the uh the uploads so yeah so i have a lot you know i just duplicate the content but i don't know if you um if you're making a recording of the live when you go live or if you're just going live and, and yeah that. i'm just going live and just keeping it as a live yeah um, maybe you can download it and then um <clears throat> re-upload put it in your uploads as well yeah hi maggie the yarn is soft and warm 100% acrylic. I'm using Vanna's Choice. This is my favorite um, yarn for blankets. Actually, it was it was on clearance at um, Joanne's. I think I got this on clearance. Um, but I noticed that Vanna's Choice. I just happened to notice today that Vanna's Choice is on sale at the Lion Brand on the Lion Brand website. So. Um, and I'm pretty sure all the colors for this are still available. But did you know that this yarn, Vanna's Choice, was specifically designed by her for Afghans? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I know that she, you know, came up with it, but I didn't know who it was for Afghans. Yeah, it's specifically for Afghans. She was um, always do making the Afghans when she was backstage on the Wheel of Fortune. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was um I used I used to have this one of her books called Vienna's Af I probably still have it somewhere Vienna's Afghans A to Z, and I think I just really liked her because she was pregnant with her daughter the same time I was pregnant with my son, mm -hmm. um, and I was crocheting these I made several of these blankets, baby blankets out of this out of one of her books um and it was this blanket that you it was just like a 
I think it was just like a single crochet blanket, but then it had an applique of like an airplane on it. So like, you know, my husband was a pilot. He mm -hmm. was in the postgraduate school, Naval postgraduate school doing, you know, something for the Navy pilot stuff, getting a master's degree in aerospace, whatever. So he could do more, you know, go to the test pilot school and stuff. So everybody's pilots right mm -hmm. that's there and um so i was i kept making these baby blankets for people out of that book with the little airplane on them and then oh. it had like it had an airplane and then it had like where you sew on like satin ribbons coming out of the like making contrails from the airplane it was just really cute thank you maggie it's the six day man blanket So if Lion Brand approached you and said, <laughs> Betty, we want to make you some yarn specifically for your blankets, <laughs> what would be the specificities that you would require um, for the perfect yarn? I really, I think that this like worsted weight acrylic is a really good yarn for blankets. Um I might, I don't know, I might choose different colors. I, I really don't know. That's a good question. Um, I don't know. But I mean, when I was, when I was at the outlet a few years ago, and I was talking to Mr. Blumenthal about my pattern, we were actually talking about um, the cake yarns and the different cake yarns. And he was saying, did you know there's a there's a Facebook group for our mandala yarn? And I think at the time it had like 38,000 people in it, probably has way more now. And he was really proud of that. He was like, that our Facebook group for that yarn has 35,000 people in it. Did you know that? And I was like, yes, of course I know that. Like people make my pattern out of your um, mandala yarn all the time and I was saying it hides the mid-row color changes really well and I don't think I had even done the star blankets at that time and he said if you ever want to do anything you just let me know and I was like frozen on the spot like I didn't even know what to say um, I'm like yes right now I'm ready <laughs> yeah because like I mean, I just like, I would feel so starstruck when I was there and I've been using this, well, you can go to my YouTube channel and see like, um, the walkthrough of the outlet, uh, mm -hmm. when we went over the one, uh, you know, like the first time I was there, we were trying to hold a group thing there. Nobody came. It was just me and my friend and he came over because we had scheduled this, you know, meeting and he was like, are you a blogger? And talk to this person and because he works with our bloggers and nothing ever came of that but he did like lead me all through the um the outlet and told you know pointed everything out to me and and he kept saying you know like um he like he would stop and then he'd be like oh i remember something else i want to say turn the video back on and he would make me get my phone back out you know and mm -hmm. and film him some more and um he was just he was really cute but i was like starstruck you know because mm -hmm. i've been using lion brand yarn since i was a little girl and then you know i was making those blankets from vanna's book and i just thought vanna was um you know i thought it was so cool that she was the crochet sweetheart and and um you know, then they had keep, she came out with this yarn and I just loved it. So yeah, it was like, I was just like starstruck. So he said, if you ever want to do anything. And I was just like, uh, what would I do? Like, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> what would I even say? And I've sent them like my patterns and stuff from time to time, but I, I don't really think they're interested in me, but um, yeah, if they were to ask me, I probably would freeze again and be like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a dork when it comes to stuff like that. That's why you got to practice in the mirror. 
practice in the mirror. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we all have conversations for uh, situations of all kinds. I know at least I do it, like, because, I don't know, I whenever I have dreams, I have dreams of, like, meeting a celebrity and my phone just doesn't work you know so i always just have to prepare <laughs> i always have to prepare myself nothing prepares you i mean i i met tom cruise one time oh wow yes i met him and i know he's like weird and he's a scientologist and i don't believe in scientology and blah 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 and, and i don't care I don't care. I had every one of his movies on DVD in this one of these, like, you probably don't even know what DVDs are, but we had this carousel DVD player that held 200 DVDs, and I had all my movies in there lined up and organized, um, all the Tom Cruise movies, starting with, you know... Endless Love all the way, which I think that's the only one I didn't have, but whatever the first one was, The Outsiders, all the way through whatever he had done up to that time. Mm -hmm. And so I was already like a big fan of him. And um, I was at gymnastics. I lived in Southern California. I was at gymnastics um, with my kids. My son was on a gymnastics team. Well, Tom Cruise's son is like the same age as my son. And he, what? his no. son did gymnastics and his son was on the other gymnastics team. And it was, we, was like where we lived at Point Magoo, which is right near Malibu where all the movie stars and people live. Well, I never saw nobody. I never saw a single person. But if there was anybody I wanted to see, it was Tom Cruise. Well, there goes my timer. I'm going to stop and stretch my hands and stuff. So, yeah, my friend comes up to me at the meet and she's like, she's like another mom. She goes, she goes, guess who's here? And I said, who? And she goes, Tom Cruise. And I was just like, ha ha, that's funny. And then she's like, no, he's really here. He's up in the loft. So we go up in the loft and I still don't believe he's there. And, and we walk right up to him. And she walks right up to him and he, she shakes his hand and she goes, hi, Tom. And just like starts talking to him. Well, I'm there like fro <laughs> frozen, <laughs> frozen on the spot. And I'm like, and he's like, starts talking to her and I'm like, oh my God, it's Tom Cruise's voice. <laughs> it's coming out of Tom Cruise's body. It's right there, standing right in front of me. <laughs> And uh, he had on, like, I had his whole appearance memorized from head to toe. And so they had their little conversation. And he looks at me like, don't you want to say hi to me too? And I'm just there frozen like a damn idiot. And then, <laughs> and then I just, like, she walks away and I'm, like, still standing there. And I don't even realize she's, like, gone. Oh. And I'm... I'm still standing there, like, just like a dummy, and then um, I go to, like, leave, and I, like, tripped and fell down the stairs from the loft, I, yeah, I was like, yeah, I really acted stupid that day, and then when he finally did walk past me, and my friend runs, runs up, and she's like, you need to say hi to this lady, she's like, she's you know like a big fan or something like that and he shakes my hand and i say something really stupid like i'm such an idiot <laughs> oh my goodness well did you at least get a picture no i got nothing but embarrassment <laughs> and a life Eddie, a lifetime of shame been like let's take a picture i mean she you know that's a good friend because she knew like you wanted you know, she how did. That meant to you. Well, I mean, this was a long time ago too. Like we, I think I had a flip phone at that time. <laughs> oh, I man. and it probably was out in the car. It probably wasn't even on me, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wouldn't even have. I didn't even have the wherewithal to like shake his hand and say hello, Tom. My name is Beth. 
I have all your movies. I really love you and Top Tom, whatever, Top Gun or whatever. Whatever movie was my favorite movie of his at that time. I don't know. I was so dumb. That's so right. dumb. <laughs> my friend Jackie is on TikTok saying he's just a person. I know he's just a person. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Facebook user says, hello. I'm for once on here working on a six-day blanket, watching a live. I've been finishing projects. That's Amy Bryson. Good to see you, Amy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I haven't met... Well, I... I'm not... You there? What happened to the sound? There you go. It sounds like Hello. you're back now. Yeah, you're back. What happened? You okay? Yeah, I'm still live. Yeah, sorry. My husband called me. Oh. <laughs> Do you need to go? You want to call him and come back? Okay. Oh, what is going on? It's like an echo. That was weird. No, I'm good. Okay. Oops, I started crocheting again. I didn't start my timer. Usually at 60 minutes, I stand up and I didn't. I'm going to leave and come back because it's like echoing on my end. Okay. All right. Maggie says, I met John Travolta and Kelly Preston before they were married. Oh, wow. He's really pale, tall, and handsome. Oh, I bet he is. I bet he is. Tom Cruise is tiny. He's a very short person. I'm a very short person. I am five feet tall, and he is not that much taller than me. Um, and let's see, I just have to watch for her to come back. He is not that much taller than me, and um, his hands and feet are super tiny. It's really tiny feet. <laughs> like, I think his feet were smaller than mine. And I, 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 I wore like a six and a half at the time. And I swear his feet were like the same time as t the same um, size as mine or smaller. It's crazy. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks for the gifts. I'm just waiting for her to come back. Excuse me. Thanks so much. Appreciate you guys coming coming in and saying hi and the gifts and sharing the live and all that. Let's see, is that her? I'm okay back. That. that's okay everything all right yeah he normally calls me when he has like a bathroom break but he forgot i was on live tonight they're saying she keep it a secret he looks tall on the big screen tom cruise is not <laughs> tall at all he's tiny yeah he's a, i mean he has to be tiny to do all those stunts yeah he's really a really little person and um he is not that much taller than me, and I'm only five feet tall, and his hands and feet are very, very small. Like his, I just, <laughs> I just like happened to be looking down when he was walking by, and his, I mean, let's just be real. I had his whole appearance memorized from head to toe. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, he's, he's really small. He's a little guy. I didn't go and I haven't seen the new Top Gun movie. It was just too much. 
for me. Um, I, I, I think I have maybe said it a few times on this call, but I was married to a Navy pilot and they all thought that they were Tom Cruise and <laughs> they all, you know, if I heard every single line from that movie once, I heard every single line from that movie a million times used in like casual conversation between these pilot dudes, you know, for a lot of my life when my ex-husband was in the military. So I just got like, I just got sick of it. And, um, you know, so yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling triggered just thinking about that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. Not going to be watching that. I don't think anytime soon. Um, that's okay. One of my neighbors will soon get their first foster baby. Wow. Picked out a beautiful yarn from my stash, so I'm using lots of stash yarn for a gift. That's nice. Aunt B says I have an ex-husband who was in the Navy, too. Yeah, so you know what I mean. Was he a pilot? You think you're... I thought my whole life was going to be like Top Gun. Like, <laughs> I, I, and I will tell you, the only realistic part was the funerals. I mean, when planes go down and stuff and they do those flybys, mm. way more dramatic even than the movies. I mean, the, the movies are accurate where that's concerned. Tom says he's 5'7". I'd say that's about right. I bet he wears a size, a lady size six shoe. That's about how small his feet were. And then wow. I guess he was in that movie, like those Jack Reacher movies. When they first came out, he was Jack Reacher. And people mm -hmm. were kind of mad about it because Jack Reacher is supposed to be like a big, ugly guy. And mm. um, there was one... Um, there was one scene in like the trailer where he's like grabbing the gear shift of the car this this and shifting it and like his hand just looks so small <laughs> in that and then um i don't know if you've ever seen one of the best tom cruise movies there is is that movie tropic thunder and yes he he's he is like he's he wears a fat suit in that movie and he dances mm -hmm. and um he holds up his hand a bunch in that movie and he is he has a fake hand on or like a glove or a, a hand prosthetic or whatever they call it but mm -hmm. he holds it up a lot in that movie and i just think it's hilarious because it's it's definitely not his hand because his hands are yeah. so tiny. Somebody mm, is saying, can you please tell me how to do the ripped one? What do you mean the ripped one? The ripped what? What do you mean? Is this the thing people are talking about doing now where they're like making something on the um on the machine and then like ripping out ripping out every other row on those knitting machines oh, do you know what i'm talking about machines. yeah it's like a thing people are i've seen people doing now I think the only celebrity that I would actually like really be excited to meet would be like Jason Momoa. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he seems like he would be fun to make uh to meet uh he uh, takes funny pictures with women and their husbands. Yeah, I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> I 
Is he the one that's married to Lisa Bonet, or are they no longer married? Yeah, they're no longer married. They split up? Yeah. Which I didn't know that he was married until I found out he was getting a divorce. I was like, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ernie says, I wish I could learn to crochet like that. You can. Crochet is not difficult, and this blanket yeah. is not difficult. It's a little tricky to get started. If you, if you know how to count, you can crochet. If you know how to count, <laughs> you can crochet. That's very true. I have a knot in my yarn. I hate when there's a knot. Oh my goodness. It's yeah. literally, or like, especially when it's ombre yarn. And oh. you're like, oh, this is looking great. And then you have a knot and it just messes up everything. And the colors don't, yeah, the colors don't, um, don't flow. That's, that's the worst. Or like a cake yarn. And the colors end up out of order or a whole section of color is missing. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's just so infuriating. Um, but if I had to design like my own yarn color or yarn or whatever, I would do like a line of like muted colors. So like, like a dusty pink and mm. like a dusty blue and like mauve and stuff like that and then it would be like a chain net um uh, maybe probably like polyester so it stays affordable uh-huh and it would be just like really cool and sleek and everyone would love it and it would just be in a really big giant ball <laughs> for okay. five dollars <laughs> Well, that sounds nice. Um, I guess, you know, I think a good yarn for me and for my brand would be like a six day blanket yarn that was maybe like a cake yarn, but the yardage was like specifically worked out so that you could, so that it would change, like it would make the stripes without mm. having to have ends you know and you could just say like use an h hook and do x y z you know this number of points and the stripes would just happen and there yeah, would, be, that would like, be yeah a bestseller <laughs> <laughs> bestseller or like if you had a cake yard and it had the pattern on the inside and it came with the hook and then it would just be like a whole kit but in store because i don't think they really have kits in the store anymore no they don't i i'm pretty sure and it would be like uh last minute baby gift last minute <laughs> uh christmas gift last minute uh birthday gift ready to start now and it has like it, it will have like the center pool and the slip knot already <laughs> yep <laughs> already on the hook so you just start or it has like the first two rows already done uh, I don't know that I think that's pushing it but <laughs> I feel like that would fly off the show oh my goodness has the video along with it just a little <laughs> Has a little iPad in there with the video all queued up. <laughs> <laughs> all the questions are answered. Yes. I'm telling you, the future is bright. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Josephine says, are you doing a double or single? This is a double. You sound sleepy tonight, Mama. I should be. I took a whole nap. 
I took a whole nap again. I didn't take a nap yes. today, but I did. Uh, I did get up at a decent time. I'm doing better. But what happened with yeah. you? You took a nap. So last night, my son, since he's you know spending day with my mom, he didn't take a nap, so he was tired oh. when he got home. He went straight to sleep. He normally goes to sleep at like eight, but he went to sleep at like seven something. So he's out already a whole hour early. Then oh, in the middle of the night, it was really hot in our house for some reason. So he woke up and had to go in there, like turn his fan on and bring the AC down. And then, but he was up for like a whole hour. And I was like, oh my goodness. So this morning at church, he was so grumpy. <laughs> oh, he was so grumpy. <laughs> so grumpy. Like wow. normally he's all smiles and wants to play with everybody. He did not have it and luckily i was working the nursery today so no one <laughs> had to deal with his little attitude he had going on. <laughs> and so um uh but yeah so we came we came out of church and we were trying to figure out like are we gonna cook dinner or are we gonna go out to eat and so i ended up getting all garden which i instantly regretted because it just was not good <laughs> Oh, no. And then my husband, he got, like, smoky bones. And I really wish I would have got smoky bones because his ribs were so good. So I'm going to, from now on, whatever you think, I'm just going to win it. Cause... Remind me, I really want smoky bones. <laughs> yes. And I just was like, dang, I really wish I would have got what he got because I must have looked so good. He gave me a piece. He didn't even get, let me get a whole rib. I was real. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He was being real stingy, but I don't blame him because I probably would have too. Um, and so he was already upset. Like my son was already like in the back seat. Like y'all need to hurry up. I'm ready to go to sleep. Got home. He went to sleep. And then after I ate, I was like, "Ooh, I need I need to take a nap. <laughs> I can't even focus right now. I'm so tired." And so uh, I took a nap till like four o'clock. And then my husband's like. All right, it's time for y'all to wake up. I said, oh, my God, I won. <laughs> mm. And so my son still had an attitude. Oh, my crazy. goodness. Yeah, so, but he went to sleep, like, really early today, too. Like, right at 7, he was like, I was like, well, we'll just have to fix it some, uh, some way. <laughs> you can't fight it, you know, like. You can't make a baby go to sleep when they aren't sleepy, and you can't, like, really keep them awake when all they want to do is sleep. Mm -hmm. You're just punishing yourself, like, yeah. Wow. Well, sounds like you had fun with Grandma anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. We went to um, this restaurant called The Egg Bistro. Have you ever heard of it? Oh, I think I have. Never been there, really, though. It was good. I had something called, like, Benny and the Grits. It was really uh -huh. good. So it was like a fried uh, grit. It was like a grit patty, but it was fried. And it had wow. shrimp, sausage, and, like, a poached egg. And it was good, but it wasn't seasoned. And then, like, the sausage wasn't... It was, like, too... It was, like, overcooked. That's the only thing. It was really good, though. Is that in Norfolk? This was in Chesapeake. Chesapeake. I feel like I, I have been there because I remember that. Benny and the Grits. Um, I just... I remember that place, but I don't remember what the occasion was that I would have been there. It's so weird. Probably when my, um, I have a friend that lives in that area when she got married. I mean, I used to, I used to live in Norfolk, but that was like 1991 mm -hmm. to 1994 was when I lived there. And then I moved to California. That's like, you were just, you're the same age as my kids, so you were just like being born. 
at mm. that time. But I used to work in Chesapeake. Uh, Amy is saying, my daughter turned seven today, so she was all sugared up. And then grumpy oh. from the crash. So happy when she fell asleep early. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, Josephine. I, well, I mean, I didn't. I think I did the chains last time. I think it was 190, but it, this is the six day man blanket. It's free on my website, so you can um, you can you can check there. You can check my website, and you can work it for free off of off my website if you want to. Has all the yarn, affiliate links for the yarn. So if you go through my links um, on my website to buy the yarn, I'll get a little cut of that. And the Vanna's Choice is on sale today for like three forty-seven, which I think is the same I paid to get it on clearance at um, Joanne's. So you're making plans with your husband to take a little vacation to Maryland the first yes. week of May and oh go to yeah. Maryland Sheep and Wool. Really we'll have to make sure we meet up with you. Yes. We're, we've been trying to go on a cruise for like, oh my gosh, for so long. Oh, really? Like, yeah, so, I mean, he's never been on a cruise, but I I went on a cruise like when a group of friends um so uh he we've been trying to go on a cruise since we got married because my dad had gifted us a cruise like for our wedding and then like for our um honeymoon but then the pandemic happened so that got canceled oh, wow. and then uh, um when uh, when i finally had our wedding i was six months pregnant so, <laughs> <laughs> so um, i was like well, we can't go anywhere. <laughs> um, so I just was like, okay, well, I guess we're going to try try to go on another cruise some other time. But I'm also okay with just like, just go, I just want to go somewhere where I don't have to do any work, <laughs> any housework. Okay. I don't want to clean. I don't want to have to change diapers. I love my son very much, but I don't want to look at him when I'm a big <laughs> <laughs> on vacation you know so I just wanted to be peace and quiet no phones no tablets no computers uh just uh, drinking a fruity drink and sitting by the pool I hear you so and how old's your son now so how he's he's a uh, 15 months 15 16 months, months so he still has a little Actually, bit of 16 months he still got a little time for diapers yeah boys are like uh, i mean my son was three i think before he really showed an interest in doing it in potty training I yeah, I think I just want to get him started, um, at least with the idea of it. Yeah. Um, cause he he's like me when I was a kid, just everywhere, all at once, just <laughs> doing everything, you know, not really focusing in on exactly, you know, what what's at hand, unless it's like. You know, I don't know, his favorite show. I, we really try not to let him watch TV too much. But if I need to get something done or I need to clean up, that's the only time he really watches TV. Yeah. But his attention span, both me and my husband has very short attention spans, and that definitely rubbed off <laughs> on him. So, um... Well, he's, he's still little. Yeah. Good, good night, Debbie. Debbie is over on uh, YouTube saying good night. But yeah, 
yeah, so he's just, he's just a little rambunctious, but, um, you know, it's cool. I'm, you know, just taking him outside more, letting him really explore and be comfortable. Because he doesn't, like, even though he loves being in our backyard and exploring our backyard, he absolutely does not want to play on the playground. I don't understand it. <laughs> you play everywhere else. You climb on everything else. That's dangerous. But apparently, go somewhere safe. <laughs> he doesn't want to climb outside. And he doesn't want to climb it. I'm like, boy, you don't get up there. <laughs> That'll probably change as he gets older. Yeah. Or he maybe um, when he sees some other kids doing it or has some little friends, you know, to do it. Yeah. <sighs> I miss those days. My son used to take his little toys, like the little Star Wars toys, and he would spin around making them like chase each other as if they were doing like the battles in Star Wars and flying after each other. And he would... Mm -hmm spin around and around and around doing that until he fell down. <laughs> I miss the fun stuff my kids used to do. Crazy little things. Boys are a lot of fun. Everything's adventure. Hi, Alta. Alta something. Um, I can't see your whole username. I am making the six-day man blanket. We both are. Pleasure's coming along. How far did you get today? I finished one, two, three, four, five. I'm on my sixth row. Um, yeah, about to finish like the second part of the clusters. Okay. Trying to get a whole repeat in tonight. Yeah, same. After I finish this row, I'm probably going to hop off. Oh, man. Thank you, Wendy. Hi, Larissa. Yeah, so I'm going to be back on again Wednesday doing my marathon. I'm going to try and finish up that blanket that I started the other day um, on that live. And we're going to be back. We have one more week scheduled. Um, I don't know if you want to keep going after that or not. I, I wouldn't mind it. Um, I guess... Depends on how our man blankets are going. You're probably going to finish yours before I do. Um, I don't think I have too much else scheduled except for what I've got going on in the Betty McNitiverse, my membership community. Mm -hmm. um, in there, we are, you're in there, so you know what's going on, but um, I'll just say it for whoever's watching the video. Um, <clears throat> I do craft and chat three times a month, sometimes more. And then uh, and those are just like where we just hang out and work on whatever we're working on and we chat. And then I have other um, meetings where we, we also just work on whatever we're working on, but we, you know, we do like crochet alongs where we all work on the same thing. Um, what we are doing right now is we had, I held a meeting like the first week of the year that was to set intentions and goals for things we wanted to crochet this year. So one of the things, one of the intentions we set, we talked about something that we must make. Um, and people had some goals and things that they really felt that they really wanted to get done, set an intention to like, you know, complete them this year. So I have a meeting where we're working on that stuff, um, the must-make meeting. So we have one of those, like, 
every Tuesday for the next few weeks. And I alternate AM and PM so that people in different time zones can jump in, take part. And that's what I have going on. Fun. I feel like I need to do another crochet along. Um, somebody asked me to do a hexagon cardigan crochet along but I feel like I just did that so thank you Claire so I don't know I might have to put a little poll out and see what people want to do Thank you. This is uh, the Six Day Man Blanket. I'm using um, Vanna's Choice. My sister's saying Superstar. Does that mean you want to do the Superstar Blanket? Or are you just calling me a Superstar? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done the Supernova. I haven't done a Supernova crochet along, so maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I had a thing where I was doing projects from start to finish on uh, mm. on my live, just going live and picking a project and doing it from start to finish. Yeah, that's some dedication. Because half of my projects don't get finished. <laughs> I'm really bad at like starting a project and just not either not finishing it or maybe like finishing it later. But I am very much, you know. But I'm going to try to go ahead, like really finish this man blanket. And I really, really, really want to finish my son's blanket, like his baby blanket. I decided not to frog it. Okay, I thought you meant to ask you about that. I, I knew there was like something that was on the tip of my tongue that I wanted to ask you about. So you decided not to frog it? Mm-hmm, and I'm just gonna continue with it because I think like really when, when I started talking about it and really talking about like, you know, when I was working on it and stuff like that. Yeah. Like when I start, when I first, I mean, I started crocheting the blanket of the year that I learned how to crochet. And this was one of the first blankets that was like not just a straight up square that I ever worked yeah. on. So of course it has like, it has mistakes. And, um, you know, I definitely would never do that. <laughs> I never would do a whole blanket of just straight up, like half double crochets anymore ever yeah <laughs> um but it was a, definitely a learning experience and then just remembering like when i started working on it like when i found out it was a boy i went and picked out the colors and and started the project and you know when i had heartburn at three o'clock in the morning and couldn't go to sleep me working on the blanket and him coming home from the hospital and not being able to sleep because i had so much anxiety <laughs> working on the blanket so there's like so many memories attached to the project and i just was like yeah i can't even bring myself to even not because i put so much time into it it's literally more than halfway done it's just the fact that so many memories went into making this blanket um i don't think i could even though i hate doing it like now i just feel like I don't hate doing it because of like the blanket like it's a blanket it's just the stitch like if I really if I really wanted to make it funky I could change up the stitch but I think it would just mess up the whole blanket but yeah just the memories alone that you that are attributed with it I couldn't really bring myself to take it apart 
Yeah, when I um, when I saw your TikTok about it, and first of all, I thought it was really clever that you said, if you want to know what happened, go over to my YouTube, you know, and yeah. subscribe. And by the way, everyone who's listening to this right now, please subscribe to Leia the Human. Um, follow her on TikTok and then go subscribe to her YouTube channel as well. Um, but yeah, when I heard you say all that, I was like, there's no way she's going to frog that. But yeah. um, I did think, like, I don't know uh, if you decided to, like, keep going on it, but why don't you just, like, finish it off where it's at? Just, like, finish it off in the state that well, it's, it's in. It's at this really weird length, though. So it's, it's like, even though it's more than halfway done, it's still not enough to be a blanket. It's more, it would be, like, more like a lap blanket, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't even cover your feet. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a really weird, like, length width wise that it it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a useful blanket. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it can but it can it can wrap around. So it's because yeah. I think you said you wanted it to um to be like it was hugging your your son. Yeah. Like it was a hug for him. So is it wide enough to to be a hug? Yeah, it's wide enough. It's just like lengthwise it is that um it'll be like a really great size for a pocket shawl. Okay. Slap some, <laughs> slap some pockets <laughs> on it and call it a day. Um but you know, I want this to be something that he carries like to college and Okay. Maybe hang you know, use in his first apartment, you know, okay. as an actual blanket. Wow. Okay. I I hear you. But I know for a fact, if it's a girl, I already have the yarn and everything. If it's a girl, I already know I'm doing the six-day star blanket, like, <laughs> or the super, the super star blanket. I already know. So Aww. that's already, we wait in. <laughs> See what's happening. But I already know. I might as well just go ahead and start on it now. <laughs> Are you pregnant? Say again? Are you pregnant? No. No. <laughs> You're just looking ahead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. I told my husband I'm not getting pregnant again until I have my vacation. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need my vacation first before we do anything. Because I want to have my little drink. <laughs> eat, eat the sushi. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot y'all can't eat sushi. We didn't have that rule when I was pregnant, but I didn't eat sushi and when back in back in that in the day. Mm -hmm. it would have been the same year, same time your mom was pregnant with you is the same time yeah. I was pregnant. So that's I'm, so crazy. I'm like your mom, I'm like your crochet mama. That's why I say I'm your yeah. crochet mama, because I mm -hmm. think I'm probably the oldest crocheter on TikTok. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going until you say stop. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm almost done at this uh for this row and then I'm probably gonna head out. Okay. I almost did a whole repeat. Yeah, me too. It's just uh the next single crochet, but I gotta go do dishes. <laughs> <laughs> off all day. I gotta go do them. I'm gonna try and write a couple articles on my blog tonight. Um, I want to write about that crochet marathon that I did and uh, write up the actual pattern that I'm working on because people are asking me, is, is this a pattern? Is this a pattern? But with the colors and so on. Mm -hmm. I must have said them a million yeah. times on that live. I don't know what to do about the people that come on the live and say, spread it out so that I can see it. Like, I really hate that. It just gets on my nerves so bad. <laughs> I don't know what to do, but I definitely feel like when somebody came on and said, could you hold it up or could you spread it out so I can see it? First of all, it's too big to fit in yeah. the in the fr 
frame and then I just can't imagine going onto somebody's live and who's like making candy or throwing pottery or um, you know doing painting or doing whatever and like asking them to stop and show it to me mm -hmm. it just to me I don't know maybe I'm just being a jerk Yeah. But I love how this is coming out. It looks so good. Hi, Sue. You can learn. Let me see. I'm going to full screen so I can see here. Oh, it's like buffering. Can't see anything. I don't know that my internet can handle me. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, it looks really cool. But I do think I might have to get some more gray yarn though, cause I, I only have one skein and I'm running out. <laughs> how much, slide it up so I can see how much length you have. Ooh. Spread it out so I can see it. Well, let me see. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow, you have a lot done. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you look like you're almost done, actually. Yeah. Well, let's see. I think I would say, like, I'm halfway done with it. You're about halfway. That sounds about yeah. right. Wow. I only have I'm this much back. done. That's I'm looking good. Measuring tape out. Let's see how long it is. So would I measure from one tip to the other, or would I measure like? Um, so I would, yes, because this is going to be the top and this is going to be the bottom. So I would, I would measure like. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. like that. So mine's like, mine's ten and a half. I'm working on a six-day man blanket with y'all, but with nine colors. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, mine's 25. 25. You're beating me. You're beating me good. <laughs> That's because I, I had to start on camera because I was messing up so much. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how much... How much I can, I mean, I think yeah, I can do is, about this much in two hours. Love, so I definitely got to get another one. At oh. least to do, especially if I want to do the border. Are you going to do the same border from the pattern or are you going to do something else? Um, I think I might be, I have to look at the pattern, but I definitely think that I'm going to do the one that's on the, um, the pattern. I have to look at it first. Oh my gosh, I, I look so crazy like when I first <laughs> I just look crazy. Oh, I put stuff in my hair and oh my goodness. <laughs> you look fine. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. I have adult acne. I get I get acne on my chin. I'm so self-conscious about it. I'm 55 years old and I still get acne. It's like it's PCOS, but... <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Okay, so this bunny that's behind you, right? Is that also, like, your, your signature stitch that's on that bunny? Yeah, that is the um, bunny lovey that Courtney did that goes with the uh, six-day six viral blanket. So mm -hmm. we have a... Um, we have a bundle where that you can get the bunny lovey the and the um the viral blanket and the star blanket together for Ooh. i think it's um the link to it is in my link tree but she did the the little dress for the bunny is actually that is so cute yeah it's actually the star blanket i'll grab it but then everybody's going to see me in my my funky little dress here <laughs> funky little dress um this is ridiculous because I don't even have it sewn together. I just have it. 
It looked really cute. You didn't have to expose yourself like that. <laughs> expose myself. Um, but it's because I did it to match all the different colors of the of the viral blanket that we did. Oh my goodness, those are beautiful colors. Oh, I love that one. The green is like the iconic one that went viral. So this is like basically this, it's based off of the star blanket pattern. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same pattern and then she did an edge for it. And then it has the little... Oh my goodness, has, that is so cute. And then it has a bow too. So you can put the bow on an, on its neck or you can put the bow on its ear or you can make it a boy or a my girl. Goodness. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think I'm gonna have to make that. <laughs> that is so cute. Cause my uh, my little sister, she's graduated from college. Uh, she goes to Virginia Tech. Nice. So she's gonna be graduating, and um, this will be the first time I see my baby. Well, they're not babies anymore. They're like getting so old. Um, this will be the first time I've seen them since like they were actual babies. So I plan on making them something. Oh, wow. So I think I want to make them little. That would be so cute. There's oh, my bow. goodness. I, a little bow. I never put them together so that I could, if I needed to take, like, do pictures with them, I could just, you know, so put them cute. together with whatever. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that's that is Courtney's. So cute. That's Courtney's. And she did a little bear, too. She did a bear and she did a she did a bunny. Oh my um, goodness. It's Courtney. I can't handle it. That's so cute. <laughs> it's Goth Fairies Creations. You definitely have to put that in your book. <laughs> for sure. People are going to eat it up. <laughs> <laughs> yep, for sure. It's a good bundle, though. I think it's only seven bucks, and you get all three of those patterns. Anyways. All right, Betty. All right, my dear. You get some rest. Have a great night. Get I'll your, see you your, uh, on Wednesday when you do your yeah Wednesday, or you, uh, marathon. If you come on Tuesday to the McNitiverse meeting, if you're available for that, just come hang out with oh, us yeah. and crochet. Um, you're welcome to come to that. Is or, this one in the afternoon or in the morning? Uh, I think this one is in the... Uh, oh, let me see what day is it in the morning it's a 10 a.m i alternate 10 a.m and then 8 p.m back and forth but if you're when you're in the mcnitiverse if you rsvp to the meetings that you want to come to and then you can actually sync them with your calendar too and you'll get notified yeah okay i'll see if i i, I don't think i'll be crocheting but i'll be there <laughs> okay all right my dear all right see you have a good night. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye YouTube. Bye, Facebook.